Hey guys, welcome to Smash and Bash and RC. In this video, we're gonna calibrate my Mac 6 ESC, and I'm probably also gonna show you how to get into the programming without having to use a programming card. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna remove these wheels. You don't want this car getting away on. You never know, you might do something wrong and you hit your throttle to program your throttle and the car's gonna take off and possibly hurt yourself or hurt somebody else. Now that we got all the tires off, let's go show you how you're gonna do this. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold this set button down right there. And you're gonna paw around the car at the same time. And it's gonna go into um, repeated beeping. That's when you're gonna release the set button and you'll be in um, calibration mode. Then what you're gonna do, you're gonna have your transmitter, make sure it's on. You're gonna let it set on the neutral position. You're gonna hit the set button once and it should beep once. And after that, you're gonna pull it back hit the set button it should beep twice and then you're going to push it forward hit the set button it should beep three times and after that you're done give it about three seconds shut it off or you can just check the throttle afterwards see if it works okay so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to turn on my transmitter oh and another thing hobby wing recommends that if you have an abs you disable it if you have epa put that up to 100 percent and um Make sure you set your steering trim to zero and your throttle trim to zero too. So I got all my trims set and my EPAs and all of that set the way they're supposed to. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it on holding down the set button. I push it on. There you go. So what you want to do now, since it's blinking, just hold the set down. That'll set your neutral position. It's set. Now, take your transmitter, go full throttle, hit the set button, throttle set, now push your brake all the way up, hit the set button, now your brake is set. And that's how you calibrate your Max 6 ESC, I'll just give a little bit of throttle now. So now I'm going to show you how to get into the um, programming of that ESC. So there is 11 different settings you can change in this ESC. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to get into them. And then I'm going to go back and I'm going to change my um, reverse because it's only set at 25%. The max you can get is 50%. And I like my reverse to throw a little bit of dirt. So I'm going to change that one. But right now I'm just going to show you how to get through each setting. So what you're going to do is you're going to do the same thing you did when you uncalibrate. You're going to hold the set button and turn it on. But you're going to hold it past the red flash and then it's going to start flashing green. One green means the first setting, two means the second. When you get to five, it's going to be one long beep. And then after that, six will be one long beep plus one beep. And then seven will be one long beep and two beeps. It's going to be green. So here we go, turn it on. Hold down the set. Turn it on. Hold down that set button. There's the green, that's number two, there's three, four, now five, one long beep, six, six, there's eight, there's nine, ten's going to be too long, there's ten. There's 11. To get in them, you just let off and you're in that. So we're in 11, and it's set at the first option. That's why it's only beeping once. All you do is when you, once you change it, you just turn it off. Whatever you keep is set. So like I said, I'm going to change my um, reverse setting on there and put it up to 50%. So the max reverse, the change of reverse, would you have to go to setting number 9. That's going to be one long beep plus four short ones. Then you're just going to let off set button, you'll be in there. You hit the set button, and it'll bring you to the second option. That's where you leave it at. You just shut it off, and you get there. I decided to put the um, X6 on just to show you the reverse speed it has. Okay. Not that quick. One a little bit faster than that. I like to throw dust in reverse, too. You don't really need a transmitter to do any of this um, programming either on your ESC. Uh, held on the set button and turn it on. Hold it for nine beeps. Nine green beeps. One. Two. 
three, four, eight. There's none. Let it off. It's going to beep once now. Hit your set button. It should beep twice. There. It's beeping twice now. See that? So that means I got it set at 50%, which is what the max for reverse is. I'm going to shut it off. Turn it back on. Should have a little bit more power now. more like it. I'm going to throw some dirt now in reverse. If you want something more in depth on how to program your EC, go to the Hobbywing website. They got the uh, manual there for you. You can download that and take a look at the settings you can change. So I got the Mac 6 actually that's sitting in my crate in EXP. So I'm going to go rip that around see how I like that reverse and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later guys.